now we have talked about uh, coulomb's law when the when we are uh, we have put the charges in the uh, vacuum okay so that is what we have uh, talked about and this is the coulomb's law for the charges which are placed in vacuum and i say vacuum because in the in this formula there is a quantity epsilon not which comes along which is known as the permittivity of a vacuum so this epsilon not actually tells us that what proportion of the force which is generated by these two charges actually propagates is actually passing through the actually allowed by the medium okay so the medium here between these two charges absorbs certain amount of uh, this force in the case of of vacuum this absorption there is no absorption and we only have a single term here in this in this force formula which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not in the case of other medium so in the case of other mediums there is an additional term which comes along which is known as er or relative permittivity so this epsilon not is the absolute permittivity of vacuum and this is just a constant it has a constant value and this is the force which is present uh, experienced by these two particles q1 and q2 when placed in vacuum this epsilon not this epsilon r for vacuum is equal to 1 when we are placing these two same particles in any other medium let's say water or uh, let's say air any other medium then the amount of force which is allowed to pass between these two particles actually is reduced by a factor which is known as epsilon r so epsilon r is equal to 1 for vacuum for all other mediums this epsilon r is actually greater than 1 which means that all the mediums except vacuum reduce this force reduce this coulomb force by a certain amount by the certain ratio by a certain um, factor and this factor is known as relative permittivity okay so there is that there these are the two terms absolute permittivity and epsilon 0 is the absolute permittivity of free space of vacuum and epsilon r is the relative permittivity how much is the medium allowing the force the coulomb's force to pass as compared to the vacuum so that is what is denoted by epsilon r epsilon r is relative permittivity and for all the mediums except vacuum it is greater than 1 which means that the amount of force which will be allowed uh, by those mediums will be less than the coulomb's force experienced by the same two particles when they are placed in the uh, vacuum in identical configuration which means the distance is not uh, changing now sometimes this epsilon 0 and epsilon r are combined together to give us a simple value known as epsilon and this is the absolute permittivity of the medium in the case of a vacuum again the absolute permittivity uh, of is just same as the uh, epsilon not our constant okay so hopefully these things are very very clear very very important for the numerical purposes you might be given various mediums and then asked to find the coulomb's force by what factor would it change if epsilon r changes by this much factor r changes by this much factor those are some of the uh, the variations questions based on variation are some of the favorite and is and that is where the epsilon r because it's relative permittivity it's the value itself is relative that is where it comes along and becomes very very important so practice these numericals on door receptor tutor i am telling you again and again without practicing numericals it is very hard to score because you only have ultimately in the exam only have one minute and without practice you will not be able to solve the question in that much time so in the next class we will also be discussing a numerical so definitely subscribe to the channel thank you